Do you have a car? If, if yes, yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys, <clears throat> today I will introduce you the LED headlight of Volkswagen Passat B8 models. This is a full LED, full LED type headlight. Everything consists of LED uh, bulbs in code. Actually, this one is the intact headlight LED, dynamic light assistant headlight, and this one is this, you can see it's the right one. And these, all these parts are taken from the left hand side headlight. The same headlight, the same LED adaptive type headlight. <clears throat> so as you can see, there are a lot of clever parts in this headlight. That's why these headlights are extremely expensive. They are optional uh, most of the time and they raise the price of the car substantially if you select the upper package. And that's why you will see why they are so expensive. As you can see, you have two projectors at each headlight. They are intelligent projectors. Let's begin with this one. Let me clear the table because there are a lot of parts, as you can see. This uh, The first projector is for both low beam and the high beam. It's outer one. And as you can see, it's the adaptive type projector. The, exactly this projector move the beam to the left or to the left, de depending on your steering wheel position. Whenever you turn to the right, your, uh, your steering wheel, this projector also, basically this mechanism turns, turns the projector to the right or to the left, as I told you. And all these parts, you can see here, the projectors, heatsink, the fan, cooling fan, these are replaceable. If they get faulty, although very time consuming, you can replace these two parts, the projector itself with the heatsink and the uh, cooling fan. Let me show you also the adaptive type mechanism. Given, given that your IFS module is functioning and everything else is functioning, but still you don't have an IFS function, this may be uh, faulty. First one, as stated, this is the first projector, which is responsible both for low and a high beam, depending on your uh, driving position. The second projector is only low beam. This one is the inner one. And again, <clears throat> the, this bulb in code is also replaceable this led module the bm uh, the volkswagen calls it uh, led module and it's also replaceable you have to if you uh, get faulty bulb in code led circuit then you can you can replace it let me show you the other uh, things basically you have here you have a daytime running light strip and underneath you have a indicator strip. Both of them are LED type. Unfortunately, if you uh, if one of these LED uh, 
bulbs in coat gets faulty, then all the strips get faulty. Then you have to replace all the strip. You cannot only replace one. These are in chain mode. As stated, the white one is the daytime running light here and the lower one is the indicator. In order to replace these both projectors, you have to use the you have to use these openings this one and this one in order to replace these LED modules inside although it's very strange you have to just hit these boxes as you can see here and they will broke down and then you you can uh, remove this cover and replace your LED module and uh, after uh, replacing these faulty LED modules you have to purchase there are repair sets repair covers here after replacing you will have to use these covers which are fixed with uh, fixed to the headlight using screws it's again the same thing absolutely the same thing I just want to also show you the adjustment motor, location of the adjustment motor. This is to adjust your, your beam. Now let me cover the, let me cover the LED modules and the ballast units, LED ballast units. The first one is the daytime running module. This is 4G0907-697 with letter F. Letter F is, uh, is very important because there are a lot of uh, other uh, similar, even same modules, but with different uh, letter at the end, they will not uh, fit your uh, headlight just make sure that it ends with the letter F this one basically commands your daytime running light this one and the indicator strip this uh, LED module powers both strips here then if you have a faulty uh, daytime running light strip or non-working that daytime running light strip, either your LED LED uh, bulbs inside are faulty or your daytime running light module is faulty. Let me put, put aside. The next thing I have to show you is the IFS module. This is the IFS module which commands your IFS function. This module basically commands your IFS projector, the IFS mechanism under your low beam and a high beam LED module. This is stated, this module IFS modules commands this mechanism whether to turn right or left depending on your steering wheel position. Next we have the power module let lemo max this one is mainly is uh, the power module for your low beam and a high beam this one is uh, just like the xenon ballast which uh, powers the xenon bulbs and exactly this module powers your led led projectors in your headlight this is mitsubishi made mitsubishi electric with a part number 7 pp 941 572 dot a here a is important there are 
interchangeable uh, lead ballasts from this shape, but the first letter should be A, and then you can have A, B, A, C, A, D, A, E, and so on. But the first letter should be A, and it should say let Lemo Max exactly. Otherwise, uh, the ballast will not fit your Passat B8. This one, as stated, is just powering your LED projectors, LED modules in, in inside the projectors. And by the way, I have to tell you the part number of the IFS module. It's 3G0-941-320-1. It is Valeo made and you have to find exactly the same part number in order to replace. Actually, you have to find exactly the same software version H02S0003. This is the, this determines your uh, software uh, version. And let's see the next part in the chain. Here you have another LED module which is made again by Valeo. And what I have to tell you about this strange module, it is a auxiliary bulb in code. Uh, it activates additional light when you are turning your steering wheel to the left or to the light. It, the official name of this module is LED module for static cornering light. Let me show you the location of this light. Here, the location of this LED module is at site, internal site of the headlight. By the way, they are sided. They are different for the left hand side and for the right hand side. When you are turning the curves to the left or to the right, right, here you will see there is an opening. Here you can see my hand. Actually, this LED module is located there and it gives additional light when you are turning to the right or to the left. Basically, this is the function of this LED module. And finally, we have to review the vertical adjustment headlight motor. This headlight motor is one of the oldest ones. Uh, it's used at Audi Volkswagen Seat model since early 2000, years 2000. The part number for this uh, headlight motor, let me check, is mm, here, yes, 3D0-941-290. As stated, this is used even at the bi-xenon headlights of Audi A6 models in early 200, 2000, in early 2000 models. But still, it's in use after 15 years at the LED, full LED type headlights. Let me check whether I have forgotten something. I think I cover all the parts. Let me show you finally the location of the each module. The power module for the low beam and a high beam, which powers the projectors, is located here. Maybe it's better not to fix it, but still. difficult
I will leave it because I don't want to break it something while making the video. This one is located here and the IFS module is located here and both of them are located un underneath the headlight. And just before minutes I showed you the location of the auxiliary uh, LED module. It's on the internal side of the headlight here and finally the LED module, LED module for the day, day driving lights is located here. I hope I haven't forgot something, but I think that's all for Volkswagen Passat B8 LED headlight. This one is used from 2014 till nowadays. And by the way, as you know, the Passat is replaced by Arteon, so basically it's from 2014 till now. Thanks guys for watching, if you have any questions regarding this headlight, please free, feel free to write down in the comment section, I will try to help you, I will try to answer you as soon as possible, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching guys, all the best, bye for now.